Hey guys, today is September, wow, the 4th of 2020. And I want to do a quick update on the uranium spot price uh, using Dove Degan technique. The last video I did, I did two videos. I did one in July, two videos in July. Uh, the second one was a correction. It didn't get a lot of tracking because, uh, I guess because it's bearish. But anyway... It's interesting how this market, this sector, uranium, uranium, where you uh, post something bullish and everybody gets excited. <laughs> but then you put something negative about it and it's not really exciting. But I'm here to tell you that the trend is trending a little lower, a little correction pulling back. Uh, if you haven't looked up the video, look at my uranium spot price July bear cycle correction. I uh, didn't upload the uh, latest data, and that's why I had to do that. And now it's confirming it. So let's get into it. And by the way, just want to let you know, don't get sucked up into all these videos on YouTube and all these conferences and all this stuff saying that, you know, we're in a bull market. It hasn't happened yet. We're in the process and this is a good start from 2017 low of 1850, but we're not out of the, we're not out of the woodwork yet. There's a down cycle that we are in now. I'm going to show you why. There's a cycle that peaked here. This one's peaks over here, and it's already pushing lower. This is a bigger cycle that goes up. Uh, maybe once we go down, maybe into the last you know uh, ending of the year. It might probably start going up, but everything is pointing down cycle-wise. Uh, what else I wanted to show you? Uh, let's see, let's see. This is a timing point here, which is November of this year. So maybe that could be a bottom, but that's just speculation. Uh, also, uh, these are other timing mechaniz mechanisms that I use uh, this one was very close in picking up the top, which was the month of what May, May June around there. This actually the the top was here in May, but somewhere in June, and we got timing points here: no, uh, September and November. So it looks like November's hot. Using my four-year analysis, let me tell you, I've learned a lot with this uh, instrument. Um. The projection line looks like they're pointing down. There was a trigger point somewhere around here on the overtone. Um, so could it be that it's point, you know, going to go lower and somewhere right here in this overtone where we bottom out, which is somewhere between November and, you know, December uh, towards the end of the year. That's one uh, swing point from the four-year. And then this is another one right here uh, projection line is still going up and the timing point would be the end of the year where it peaks uh, which could con mean that it could continue going lower until the end of the year uh, there's one right here too we'll see when we get there somewhere around September um, so that's that right there I don't want to make this video too long but I did want to mention that this is not the season right now to be buying any uranium stocks. COVID came and took the U.S. indices and slammed it to the ground. COVID came and didn't do anything to the uranium sector or the uranium spot price. Yeah, there was a few people saying, well, you know, the plants are closed and there's going to be a chaos. Chaos, nothing. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Just look at price action, and we're trending lower. And the cycles are pointing towards the end of the year, uh, looking more like, you know, next year things could start turning around, or somewhere between November, December. Uh, one of my theories for believing why there was a turn coming up, and you, you guys know, I mean, you guys know, this is the, there's nothing new here. 1850. 185 weeks was the timing technique to pick this. Is it working? It's working right now. 
let's see how it goes. But I figured I'd just give you a quick update uh, and see how price action behaves going towards the end of this year. I'm looking at next year. Maybe things could start, you know, turning. There's a lot of turning points coming up here, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to sign out. Uh, again, I just say be cautious. Don't get too crazy buying stocks. I'm not in the market. I don't own anything on uranium or any stocks. I'm waiting for this season to end and then maybe revisit it towards the end of the year, next year, and then see how price action behaves. It could be a great opportunity to get in if things just kind of stay stagnant or a little lower and maybe get in or just kind of get in when things are going to start escalating. But as of right now, this is not a good time to buy any uranium stocks. If you want to buy it for the long term, fine. You could start nibbling your toes as the cycles go down. Uh, but once they start you know, going down or peaking, uh, bottoming, and price action is confirming that now that you know there could be a wave going up and we take out this high, 33, and change, maybe something more promising. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you again covering the uranium spot price sector.